Good evening guys and I'm here with another review from Before the 90 Days Season 3 and today I'm going to be talking about the body language of Zied. So Rebecca's gone to Tunisia to meet her boyfriend Zied for the first time and according to Zied he's never been more in love than he is now. Translation, I've never ever been in love and from what his body language tells me he's not now either Rebecca. So this video is going to analyse the body language and behaviour of Zied not just since Rebecca's been in Tunisia but also the body language that he displayed via FaceTime before she even arrived. Now as per usual it's my contention that Zied is just after a green card but is he just tricking Rebecca or does Rebecca actually know this as well but she's trying to fool us into thinking that she's genuinely in love and so is Zied and that if anything untoward's happening it's Zied managing to pull the wool over her eyes. I actually believe she fully knows that he's in it just for the green card so we will also be looking during this video at the body language of Rebecca to try and decipher is she a willing partner in this facade or is she being duped? If you haven't already, please don't forget to press that red button, press subscribe and make eBird a very happy eBird. And also don't forget to let me know if you like the video. If you do, we could do some more body language analysis, but I need to know what you guys think. So it would be super useful to find out if you guys find these videos interesting and if they add anything to the narrative of the show. So when it comes to analysing guys like Ziad, eBird's seen it all before, although admittedly never quite so much of it. Ziad is duplicitous, sneaky, manipulative and according even to Ziad, he's controlling. However, what he can't control are his body language tells and his micro expressions which give his game away time and time again. In short, Ziad is a body analyst dream and I think his body language and behaviour is so obvious, is so out there that even Rebecca knows that this is just a relationship of convenience. So the first body language tell with Zied is when he and Rebecca are FaceTiming in episode 1. So basically he's looking at her and is telling you, I love you so much baby, I want you all my life. Really, all my life, I do. I want to kiss you so much, really. So aside from the fact that he keeps on having to assert, really, yes I do, honestly, really. And as we all know, when somebody says honestly, usually, quite often it's the opposite of that. His face looked totally incongruent with the message he was delivering. So normally if you're delivering I love you, there's a bit of passion, there's a bit of fire, there's something in your facial expression. Zied's facial expression was almost blank and his eyes were staring straight at the camera, completely open, virtually unblinking. Now you might think what can we read from this? And so we can read from this two things. Firstly, quite often when people are lying, they're aware that eye movement might give them away. So they look you straight in the eye, or in this case, straight at the camera and keep looking in a bid to try and convince you I'm telling the truth. And with Ziad, I think this is what he was trying to do, trying to convince her with his many reallys, I want you always, I want you for all my life, really, staring and blinkingly into the camera and is really just trying to convince Rebecca that what he's saying is true. Obviously, this one's quite shaky. It's very difficult to say when someone's not looking at you in person. And obviously people might act differently via a different medium such as Skype or FaceTime than they would actually face to face. But as we'll see a bit later, Zied's statements don't get any more congruent with his facial expressions even when he does see Rebecca in person. So the second time that Zied's body language really let him down was when he met Rebecca at the airport and I think this was episode 2. And as we all know, Rebecca is a catfish. So she's been sending him photos which bear literally no resemblance to the real Rebecca. She looks 150 pounds lighter and about 25 years younger. Now even though he'd obviously used filters as well, the difference was nowhere near as pronounced as it was with Rebecca. So when he actually saw her in the airport, he looked at her, looked a bit shocked and then gave the biggest fake smile you've ever seen. And how do we recognise the fake smile? He smiled with his mouth but not with his eyes. And obviously Rebecca was feeling hot because a little bit later on she said to him, you look so much better than your pictures. Really Rebecca? And then she asked him, what do you think of me? He said, you're beautiful, beautiful, you're so much beautiful. But as he said it, he wasn't even looking at her. He was looking all around the airport. He was not just glancing around the airport, really perusing everybody else in the airport and his surroundings. Usually if you're saying to somebody, you're so beautiful, oh my God, you're amazing. You at least bother to look at the person as you're saying it. I think Rebecca's appearance was such a shock and surprise to him. He didn't have time to fix his stare and say you are beautiful and look in her eyes and do his fake thing. He was caught off guard and he could barely look at her as he delivered the lie, you're so much beautiful, Rebecca. But it's the next scene that really had me absolutely in stitches. So I think this was episode three or episode four 
when they woke up in bed after their first night of passion and Rebecca's smiling like a Cheshire cat and she's chit-chatting to Ziad and she says, I love you. But before he said anything, he looked right into the camera at the TLC crew, almost as if to say, are you listening? Of course they were. And so were we. And then looked down and then sheepishly said, I love you too. And again, it was the least convincing I love you I've ever heard. He looked embarrassed, he looked uncomfortable, and he looked as if he wanted the ground to open up and swallow him. And in that same scene, Rebecca was looking at him with doe eyes, and he was looking down, he was looking here, he was looking there, and his body language said, I'm not comfortable. But I'm sure you guys all noticed that the time when Zed was most caught out on his body language was that really awkward discussion that Rebecca had when her colleague Melanie had looked into his job history and discovered it was non-existent. When she asked him about not having a job and not coming up on any official records, his body language was simply unreal. You could see his brain ticking and we could read every single facial expression of Zed's like a book. So first up, his micro expressions were of confusion, of surprise, and I'm with Zed on that one because I was surprised that Rebecca finally got it together to find out what he was up to and then of fear and at this point we saw really clearly the crease in between the eyebrows which is a very clear confused facial expression and his look of surprise was equally as clear and his eyes were really wide and his mouth was actually gaping open and this emotion of surprise or shock is something that just happens absolutely instinctively and even though he was eating straight away we see Zied's mouth fall open and then finally, the fear set in. So this usually manifests itself in slightly raised eyebrows, a taut brow and a half open mouth, all of which are unmistakable signs that someone's scared. Zied showed all of these signs with the news that Rebecca delivered. And also very often we can add to this that the lower eyelids are very tense. And if we look at this, we can see this really clearly in Zied. Also, he starts to look quite tense. So he was slouching down before over his food and suddenly he sort of sits up a bit more. His muscles are tensing a bit more and you can see his anxiety is rising. So suddenly he's full of gestures. He's not able to stay still. Clear signs of anxiousness. And on what we've seen so far of Zied, he doesn't seem to move unnecessarily. And when he does, it's quite slowly. Suddenly he becomes very animated and is virtually unable to stay still and stay calm. And then he comes up with his story. The story that the TV company pay him from petty cash each time he gets people for their audience. Yeah, yeah, Zied. And basically we have the whole gambit of body language tells for liars. So aside from his actual language, um baby, of course, uh, my boss, of course, uh, and he was umming and ahhing and erring as much as he could to give himself time to think, he also did body language bullcrappers 101. He put his hand over his mouth and as we all know that means that you're trying to prevent deceitful words from being said and it's something instinctive that we do when we know we're not telling the truth. His hand went straight to his mouth and then he did the ubiquitous nose touch. It's virtually like he'd been reading body language for dummies and as we know one of the most common signs for lying is the nose touch and he touched his nose, he scratched around his nose, right underneath his nose. And if that weren't enough, there's more. He starts a prolonged period of rubbing and stroking his chin. And this is a signal that the person is thinking hard. So sometimes they might be judging or evaluating something, but they're usually going through a decision-making process. So he was thinking to himself at this point, what shall I say? What's my excuse gonna be? How can I make it sound as reasonable as possible? I know, I'll throw in, do you want my boss's name? And this just adds to the deceitfulness of Zied's body language at this point. Zied's eyes were darting everywhere. And darting eyes mean that the person feels very insecure, unsure of their surroundings. And really what it means is that they're looking for escape routes to either get out of the situation or to stop from talking to you. And at one point, he actually looks right around over his shoulder. It's almost as if he's saying, someone get me out of here. Where can I run? Where can I hide? And the whole time Rebecca's just sitting, fixing her gaze on him. And I think it's at this point that he realizes I need to pull it home. So he then has a far more relaxed, almost slouched way of behaving pretty much as he was sitting previous to this whole exchange. He stops his eyes from darting around and he fixes his stare on Rebecca again. And he says, do you want my boss's details? And he's almost trying to call her bluff. And I think even though Rebecca ended up saying, yes, I do, you know, I know, and Rebecca knows that she's never going to take those details. And if she does, she's never going to follow up on them. So now that I've established beyond all reasonable doubt that Zied's a liar, let's just take a look at Rebecca. 
And in the very first episode, when Rebecca's asked by fellow crack detective Melanie, you've been through all of this before, what would make this time different? Rebecca just shrugs and she looks beaten. She couldn't even answer or be bothered to look enthusiastic about telling her what made Zed so great. This tells me that she knows there's nothing other than the fact that Zed is a lot younger than her and quite a catch for Rebecca. And so she really knows that this time, nothing is different. There's nothing about this interaction that's materially different from her previous interaction with the Moroccan guy. And again, the shrug and the defeated looking body language tells me that Rebecca's not even managing to fool herself. One of the main times that Rebecca hasn't told the truth is over the money that she lent him to buy her own engagement ring. So Rebecca tells the VT, he asked me for money for the first time in our entire relationship. And I've got to ask Rebecca, what does first time mean to you? I think she just means the first time it's been televised. When she tells us this, her eyes flicked momentarily to the right. And this is a clear sign of lying. But to back that up, she'd also said earlier that he'd never asked her for so much money. Which is it, Rebecca? He'd never asked you at all, it was the first time, or it was the most he'd ever asked you for. And let's not forget Zaid told his sister that Rebecca had said, if you need money, just ask me. And then later when she's talking to Ziad after he bought the engagement ring, do you know what it looks like now? It looks like that you just needed some of my money. So we can also see that she's bothered about not what it is, but more how it looks. That's right, Rebecca. It looks like he's a freeloader. And guess what? He is. She's failed to do a background check and she tells us that she doesn't know how to do an international background check. Well, Melanie knew how to do one. So why didn't you ask her to do one before you left? Because you didn't want to know. You wanted to get out there and ensnare him and pretend, oh, I didn't know all of this until it was too late. We all know that you didn't want to know. What else can we add to the list? Well, Rebecca doesn't want someone that's controlling. And Zied said himself, I'm a very jealous and controlling person. And Rebecca also tells us, I do think that Zied's a hard worker. And like I've said before, does he have the body of a hard worker, Rebecca? No, no, he doesn't. Does he have the work history of a hard worker? No, no, he doesn't. Have you seen him work since you've been here for the past two weeks? No, no you haven't. I think it's clear, Rebecca, that you are Zied's employment. And guess what? You know it. So that's pretty much everything I have. I'm going to wrap it up here. Guys, let me know what you think. Do you think Rebecca is in on this? And do you think that she knows she's being taken for a ride, but she just simply doesn't care anymore? Or do you think that Zied is managing to fool her? Let me know in comments what you think. And also let me know how you think the whole relationship's going to play out from here on in. Please don't forget to subscribe. Please also give me a thumbs up if you like it and I can do some more body language videos for you guys. Thank you guys so much for listening. You've been listening to eBird Online. Ciao for now.